hello guys and welcome to this new power bi tutorial in this video i'm going to create the following interactive dashboard using the world happiness data as you can see we are going to use the data from 2015 to 2019 and we are going to create different charts so i'm going to start by gate chart we have two g maps and we have three scatter plots we are going also to use dynamic titles using our slicer for the years from 2015 to 2019 but before start creating our charts let's first explore our data set so here we have our data set as you can see we have nine columns and 777 rows so we have the different countries the happiness score the gdp per capita the social support healthy life expectancy freedom generosity government trust and finally we have the different years so the years from 2015 to 2019 all right so now i'm going to create a new project import our data set and start creating our charts okay so here i have created a new project and to download the data you can find the link in the description to import the data we click on excel workbook and we import our world happiness data set so click okay so i select data load all right so here on the right we have our data set and the first thing that we need to do is to create the slicer so we click on slicer year and on formatting we click on slicer settings and the style it will be the title so we can put it like this and decrease the height you can remove the year right on the header okay next we can create our dynamic titles so we create three different measures so the first one we can call it global happiness right or the cage chart title which will be global happiness right global happiness right in space and we add the year so selected value we add the year right so this is the first dynamic chart for the gauge chart next to create the two dynamic titles for the two tree maps so same thing new measure first one we call it happy countries right which will be countries which will be top 10 happy countries right in space and we add the year right so we copy this one and we create new measure we name it sad countries will be sad right and it will be top 10 set countries in and we add the year okay next we're going to create the key chart so we select it in here and it will be the happiness score as an average example in 2015 for the title so general title and we select our title right data this one okay you can put it like that and we define the maximum value as 10 the minimum as 0 right next same thing for the title it will be in the center bold 
and we define the colors so for the colors we have gradient and the minimum it will be red for 0 the maximum green for 10 and we can add middle color in 5 okay all right same thing now for the labels so bold and black all right same thing for target label all right and the call out value okay so like that we have our gauge chart now we can add the border right so on effects we have the border as 20 and same thing for the slicer okay can put it in the center like that all right next we're going to create Two chibi maps okay one for the top 10 happy countries and the second one is for the top 10 set countries so select tree map country the happiness score right as the average in case you select more than a year so you get directly the average okay so we want to select the top 10 countries by the happiness score right has an average and we apply all right we can add the label okay so like that we have our first tree map we can put it for example here okay this one in here and the title for this one it will be the happy countries title all right same thing we can format that so for the title in the center bold and we add the border in black 20 okay can decrease this one a little bit like that Alright, this one also decrease. Okay. And since we have defined our title, we are also add the colors. So on formatting color, we select advanced and here we select the gradient, right? So for the lowest value it will be example this green, right? And the highest value we select for example this green okay so just a second it will depend on the happiness score as an average okay all right so here we have our first G map so we copy paste this one put it here all right and this will be for the colors so the bottom 10 countries apply and for the colors the same thing so the minimum for example it will be this one as red like that for example and for the or it is the inverse right so if it is very low it will be red and for the highest value it will be this one okay all right so we change also the title select the sad countries title okay 
all right so here we have our gmaps right with two dynamic titles and also the gradient colors right so if we change the year we have the change in the different charts right now i'm going to add three scatter plots right for happiness score and freedom happiness score and gdp and happiness score and healthy life expectancy to find the relationship between these variables so to create the first one we select scatter plot on the y axis we will have the happiness score and on the x axis we are going to have the gdp right so don't summarize same thing in here so as you can see we have a positive correlation between the two variables now i'm going to format that by eliminating the grid lines so for the title in the middle bold and same thing for the border right so it will be 20 now for the values have bold black same thing for the title and same thing for the y-axis right so bold black and the title bold and black all right okay put it here like that now i'm going also to define the colors right so go to okay close this one visual close this one we go to the markers right and color same thing we are going to select the gradient so for the minimum it will be red right we add middle color like that and the highest value it will be green okay we can also remove the legend and like that we get our scatter plot for gtp per capita and happiness score so as you can see we have positive correlation so the higher the gtp the higher is the happiness score right and to create the two others we just copy paste that twice all right and same thing for this one okay put it here like that and instead of gtp we select the freedom right so same thing we have positive correlation and the third one it will be the life expectancy so remove this one and we have life expectancy don't summarize same thing also we have a positive correlation so the higher the score in here the higher the happiness score so the relationship between the happiness score and the three different variables which we have selected which are the gtp the freedom and life expectancy have a positive correlation so if we close everything we get our final dashboard using world happiness data between 2015 and 2019 so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial